We talked about the manager who we both really like, Terry much. Francona. Yes. I mean, I'm not going to say there's a reconstruction job here on a team that won 100 plus and a team that got the Game Seven of the World Series, but I think there's going to have to be sort of a, a a full sort of meeting of the minds of the leaders of that team as they go into spring training and what they're going to discuss. The Cleveland Indians aren't the first team, nor they're going to be the last team that has struggled in the postseason after glorious regular seasons. The Atlanta Braves did this a lot. They cashed in, I think, only once. So, Tony, we've seen it in every sport. The Buffalo yeah. Bills very famously, four infamously in almost. Four in a row. And I admire them for what they yeah. did four in a row. But it's going to take a lot. I'm going to say this, that, that last year I think they exceeded most people's expectations by getting to the World Series. This year, not good. I understand not good. But I think you've got to build – three or four or four in six years or something like that before it's catastrophic, and I don't think it's that. I'm interested in the city, though. The Indians haven't won since 1948. The Browns are terrible. They are dreadful, and they've been dreadful for a while. And I know Cleveland has won, but this is LeBron's last year there, and Kyrie Irving couldn't wait to get out. So, Mike, I think the Indians may feel that sort of pressure that they could be the last champion Tony, in that city, and I wonder what that I does I think to that's them. possible, but I think there's no better place to play if you're going to have that than Cleveland because the people don't act like jerks because it's not Philly, and yeah. they don't think it's their birthright to win, and they don't boo people when they get hurt. They don't behave like that. They behave fabulously almost all the time. I'm talking about overwhelmingly. I go to Cleveland a lot. I'm going there Tuesday for the NBA opener. I've Spoiler seen how alert. they behave when they have no championships. If you're going to play somewhere and have people cheer for you unconditionally, Cleveland's in my top three.